Hello students, myself Dr. Sachin Gurule, Assistant Professor from Department of Zoology, KTHM College, Nasik. In the previous video of Subject Animal Diversity 3rd of SYBSC, we have learned the topic from the chapter number 2 that is Introduction to Group Protocol Data and in that video we have started with the subphylums of protocol data and have finished with the first subphylum, first subphylum that is hemichord data and now in this lecture we are going to start with the second subphylum of protocol data that is the eurocord data okay so obviously the subphylum of the ocrania or the protocol data these are based on the basis of position of notochord group ocrania or protocol data is divided into the three subphylum that is hemichord data, eurochord data and cephalochord data of which we have already completed with the hemichord data so today we are going to discuss with the eurochord data so let's see the eurochord data now that eurochord data is greek word and it is made up from the two words that is oyura means tail and corda means cord refers to the notochord occurs in a larval tail only so as notochord is restricted to the tail region in case of the larval stages of this organism hence they are known as the eurochordates so let's see characteristic feature of the eurochordate first of all the notochord and nerve cord present only in the larval stages and are absent into the adult stages means whatever affinity of this organism towards a chordate that is restricted only at the larval stages while in the adult stages they are not showing the characters of the chordates so only larval stage they are provided with the notochord and nerve cord while it is absent into the adult stages then the second one the notochord is in the larval stages but typical features of this eurocordate are they are marine organism filter feeding animals most of them are showing the affinity of the chordates only at their juvenile that is larval stages but adults if you see the adults they are sessile globular or tubular animals and often with prominent incurrent and excurrent siphon and many kinds they are grows in a colonies so here in this two diagram you can see so this is a larval stage of the protocordata that is tunicata and here you can see this is a tail and that tail consists of the notochord and the dorsal nerve cord so that is the characteristic feature of this group and this is the adult stage in the adult stage the you can see the adults are sessile, somewhat globular or the tubular animals and there are two siphons are there. So one is acting as an incurrent siphon through which water enters the body and another one is a excurrent siphon through which the water leaves the body. So such a kind of the organization is common among the eurocordates. Then the second one, the dorsal tubular nerve cord is present only in a larval stage which degenerates in the form of small ganglion in the adult stage means initially whatever nerve cord is there which is de begins to de degenerate as they become an adult and it is converted into the small in the form of small ganglion in case of the adult stages now these organism are exclusively marine organism cosmopolitan distribution and found in all seas at all the depth so these are only when only found into the seas and the oceans being the strictly marine organism the next characteristic feature they are simple solitary composite or colonial and they are commonly known as the sea squid now what exactly the sea squid squid they are called as a sea squid because they have tendency to the squid out water when they are removed from their watery home or when these animals are get disturbed it suddenly contracts their body and emits the inner content with the force through its aperture 
and hence as they emit some kind of the fluid or whatever content which is present into their body when they are get disturbed hence they are referred as a spirit so here in this diagram you can see so this is a um, uh, eurocorded animal when you touch this animal they uh, emits or they discharge a some amount of the water which is present in their body and hence commonly they are known as the sea squid the next characteristic feature most of the organism belongs to this eurocordata are sedentary organism sedentary in the sense fixed means they are always attached to the certain substratum now some of the organism they are pelagic or free swimming so here in this two diagram you can see so these are the sedentary eurocordat here you can see the substratum on which they are get attached themselves leading to the sedentary life while this is the another example of the eurocordat where they are showing the pelagic form or the free swimming forms so means both kind of the forms they are occur into the eurocordat sedentary as well as pelagic or the free swimming forms now they are variable in shape the next character the adult body is degenerated sac like unsegmented and without paired appendages as well as without tail means there is no appendages there is no tail okay then body is always covered by the cuticular protective tunic this tunic is also known as the taste and this is the common feature into the adult this taste or the tunic which is composed of the tunicin which is a material which is similar to that of the cellulose as they contains a tunic or the taste which is made up of the tunicin material hence they are commonly known as the tunicates or the tunicata then another feature the terminal branchial aper aperture and the dorsal atrial aperture usually present so here in this diagram you can see so this is a single animal it contains a two aperture one is acting as the in current aperture and another one is a x current aperture of which which is also known as the branchial aperture as well as the atrial aperture through which they takes the water from outside into the body and again remove the water from the body to the outside so for that purpose they contains a characteristic two aperture so here in each and every organism or in this one you can see there are presence of two aperture one is a atrial and another one is a branchial aperture okay then coelom is absent in this organism instead an atrial cavity which is lined with the ectoderm it is present and which opens to the outside through the atrial aperture means whatever cavity is there that uh, cavity is belongs to the atrial aperture or is aligned with the ectoderm and it present which opens to the outside through the aperture known as the atrial aperture then next character if you see this organism you will found there are numerous pharyngeal gill slits are there okay number of gill slits are there so here in this diagram you can see so these are the pharyngeal region which are provided with the gill slits so they are provided with a many gill slits is a again characteristic feature of this organism here the excretory organ are completely absent means there is no excretory organ or definite excretory organs are completely lacking among the eurocordate organism so here in both the diagram you can see a different kinds of the organs which are present into the body but here there you will not found any kind of the organ which is completely dedicated for the purpose of excretion then next character the heart is ventral simple and the tubular one okay so here you can see at the ventral side of the organism heart is present which is a simple one and somewhat tubular then sexes are united showing the hermaphrodite condition so here in this diagram you can see so this is a testis and this one is a ovary means if the testis and ovaries that is male reproductive part and female reproductive part when they are occurs in a same individual 
such a condition is we are referred as the hermaphrodite condition so this hermaphrodite condition is usually found among the organisms belongs to that eurocordata then fertilization is cross and external external in the sense the fusion of gamete for the future progeny is uh, take place outside the body such a kind of fertilization we call as the external fertilization and cross fertilization means the though they are showing the hermaphrodite condition being having the testes and ovaries in the same organism but gametes of the male as well as female belongs to the single individual never participate in the process of the reproduction so sperms which are utilized by the other organism which are going to fertilize the egg of another organism such a kind of the fertilization is there if we are referred such a fertilization is the cross fertilization which take place outside the body of organism hence is a external type then as far as the development is concerned the development of this eurocordate is indirect one and indirect in the sense it always uh, passes through a certain larval stages so the larva which is found into the eurocordate is a free swimming and they are provided with a tail the free swimming tail larva is another characteristic feature of the eurocordate and being we have already discussed the eurocordate they are having the notochord and the nerve cord only at the larval stages and which is again restricted into into the tail which is the most important feature of this group so these are the some silent features of the subphylum eurocordata then let's see the few examples of the eurocordate the eurocordates which includes the organism which has the affinity towards a chordate only at a larval stages but this typical features of the chordate is lacking into the adult and the examples are so first example is a hadmania then second one is a doliola third one is a salpa of which this hadmania is the fixed form while the doliolum and the salpa these are the pelagic or the free swimming forms of this eurocordate then another example is botrylus and the molgula of which again the botrylus is the fixed form or the sedentary form and the molgula is again the free living or the pelagic form of the animal so these are the examples of the eurocordate so we are going to discuss a two examples with their few characteristic features so let's see first of all the hadmania now hadmania these are belongs to the class acelidi of the subphylum eurocordata it is marine organism solitary benthic and the sedentary form which is found into the shallow waters of all along the indian sea coast then pacific and atlantic oceans also so they are attached to the rocky bottom of by the broad base or embedded into the sandy floor by its extended foot means these organism they are the sedentary form they are always attached to the uh, certain kind of the substratum either to the rocky bottom by their broad basis or they are may occur uh, on the some corals also so occasionally they live as a commensal with the gastropod shell so whatever gastropod organism is there so these organism they are also living on the gastropod shell by attaching themselves on that particular shell that hadmania is commonly known as a sea squid because we have already discussed when they are a distracted they discharge a their content of the body outside and such animals we are commonly known as a squid and as they are living into the sea so they are referred as the sea squid its body is covered by the test or the tunicate which is laterally compressed and somewhat oblong or rectangular in shape with attached end slightly narrower than that of the free end so here you can see the two ends are there the attached region is somewhat the narrower than that of the free end so body proper and foot so this one area 
is referred as the body proper and the region with the help of which it is attached to the certain substratum it is referred as the foot and the animal is attached at its posterior ventral end by a foot which is large rough leathery and often you will found the many foreign particles they are there to the foot region so here in this diagram you can see so there are many foreign particles foreign particle in the sense the particles which are not belongs to that body of that organism but the other particles they are get attached to that of the foot region it is again often seen in case of that hadmania so these are the few characteristic feature of the example belongs to the eurocordata that is hadmania commonly known as the sea squid the second example is the salpa this salpa is commonly known as the common salp now this salpa is belongs to the class thalicia of the subphylum eurocordata so this is belongs to the class thalicia then it is again marine organism free swimming solitary pelagic form and found at the depth up to the 200 meters deep into the seas it has again cosmopolitan in distribution and it is found in almost all the seas all over the world it is dimorphic organism and exhibit a alternation of the generation so alternation of generation means they are having two stages of their life cycle so first one is a asexual phase and second one is a sexual phase which is very well marked and such a kind is referred as the alternation of the generation now it is solitary its solitary phase is asexual oozoid while the gregaria phase is a sexual known as the gonozoid or this gonozoid is also referred as the blastozoid so this is a sexual phase this sexual phase is referred as a gonozoid or it is also referred as the blastozoid while the asexual phase uh, asexual phase is a gregaria phase of uh, this organism then if you see the body the body is somewhat barrel shaped and is measuring about 1 to 8 cm in length means comparatively this organism are smaller organism but here in case of this organism whatever taste is there or tunica is there which is a transparent one and it produces into the two atrial processes at the posterior end so here in this diagram you can see so these are the atrial processes or the atrial apertures are there and this is a taste which is a transparent one so this is again a characteristic feature of this organism then blastozoid these are differs from that of the oozoid being they are smaller in size they are asymmetrical and having a fewer muscle band as compared to that of the other and without stolon and the taste processes and having the gonads so here you can see so these are the taste processes which are present into the sexual or sexual phase while such a kind of the taste processes are absent into the sexual phase so from this character you can easily able to identify the which stage of um, this organism they are having whether it is a sexual phase or sexual so called as gonozoid or the blastozoid phase then an organ organism they are hermaphroditic means again male and female reproductive organs are present in a single individual showing the hermaphroditism condition and the ovary and testes they are mature at the different times so this is a very significant character as they became say mature at a different times means self fertilization is not allowed so only prefers a cross fertilization where the gametes of the female is take part in the process of fertilization with that of the sperms of the other individuals as at the same time the male gamete and female gametes are not becomes matured and hence which ensure the cross fertilization in among these organism so these are the few characteristic features of the salpa being the one of the example of the eurocordates so with this we have completed the silent features of subphylum eurocordata and their examples thank you thank you very much